Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice traditional cup of tea. Perfect accompaniment to the diplomacy update, which is what we are now playing in the Conquest mode. In the previous episode, we started a new Conquest game and a new campaign and were situated on this island on the bottom right near the Isle of Pillars, the Quiet Isle, and just generally in probably a nice place to be. It just sounds nice. Obviously, we had also a master lens maker as well in our... Uh, in our mitts and well yeah we immediately talked to the uncton guy and went for non-aggression and then his neighbor started acting up and well that's where we come in because we have then come come over and taken over four bow and we've just repaired the bumblebee and we really need to go over there and indeed destroy what's there Ooh, and take that over we have research complete which is scientific method high pressure suspendium university and we're now doing for we're now going for scientific suspendium mining an enemy spy successfully acquired technology information on scientific method oh darn it that's not what we wanted um we're actually infiltrating the city on the left hand side as well let's have a quick look at what they have they have okay it's interesting it looks like it was made by orcs but i'm guessing it's gonna be quite effective what's their main defenses nothing really nothing Okay, um, it's it's a bit curious, but <laughs> sorry to say that if if we didn't have a defensive pact, and if they didn't have a defensive pact with this guy, <laughs> I might take advantage of the situation. Hmm, are we the baddies? We might be. Anyway, I'm going to get enough supply to go to Islet here. Uh, it says insufficient supply. We need 16. We've got 13, 14, 15, 16. Attack. Uh, just in case we need to come back, I don't think we will. We can build a university, a great place of learning, 100% research speed from clearing monster nests, fleet academy, which is plus 10% weapon accuracy and fire rate, but also maintenance costs as well. Let's just see, however, what we've got going in this location. It is pretty standard affair. Let's just move this right down to uh, the other side, actually. We'll just fly it to there. We're on our standard normal fire, taking out these tower blocks here. And... We got some, huh? It's like overcast, sort of graying. We can hear rumbles of clouds. Yeah, it's pretty much a British summer. Nice. Anyway, still short weather. Let's go ahead and get behind these things. It does take some time. This this thing is not known for its speed, or its armor, or its boarding capability, or its service ceiling, or indeed, <laughs> it's not really known for a lot other than. Well, it's um, it's it's reasonably okay at um, being cheap, yeah, and well, I guess the main thing is it's got tier zero technology, and the blisters are pretty good. Let me just, let me just ground this thing. No reason not to just ground it. And do you know what the worst thing is? We'd actually be better being on the other side. Because there's two rifles and three. But they've lost all of the rifles there, so there would only be three on the other side. I mean, I could take off. But realistically, at the rate we're uh, chipping away at them. I think that's it anyway. Oh, that's close. There's a victory. Gentle takeover this time. And for the engine's format is unrest. Fair enough. Let's go back here. And I think that's that guy out of the game. I genuinely think that is that guy out of the game. Oh, what a shame, never mind. Let's have a quick look at Osovril here, which have got... Oh, they've got mini tanks! <laughs> a lot of them as well, actually. Antediluvian, which is rifle, rifle, and ballista. And these things, which are sponsons and double rifle. That looks cool. Let's view the city here. Oh, and big defensive structures with... Are they ballistas or are they just rifles? I'm not sure. Either way, steel supplies, build spy network. Let's build a spy network. Uh, actually, no, it's 300, and I don't really need to do that. It's vineyards over there. So, is there something we can chat with this guy about? Make offer. What about an alliance? They're really not wanting an alliance. No. Really not. But we can do a trade treaty. 
and alliance in a trade treaty. Let's just go with a trade treaty and a research treaty. Let's just trade with this guy, with Uncton. Ugh, crash beehive. Ugh. Lots of float honey, though. So let's see if he accepts that. This should do. Yeah, non-aggression, trade treaty, research treaty. Rep is disliked. People are afraid of this empire. Ah, oh, because its reputation is 35. Hmm. Okay. What about this? Strength is similar. But I don't know about their rep. Put a trade treaty there. Don't think we're going to put any more trade treaties out. So then we can build in and around here. We can build a market to increase our income. We're on 82 at the moment. Um, we could do that, or... Or we could build another ship. It is possible. Strength is civil, a craven, easily frightened and bullied. I don't particularly want to... ...be attacking these guys. Let's have a quick look. Diplomatic status. Peace with everybody. This is a sovereign. Peace with everybody. Apart from Stinex, who they've got a non-aggression. Catwick. They've got a truce with Stinex. Peace with almost everybody, but at war with Tuppington. Tuppington. Oh. Got a defensive pact. They're at war with two people. No, that's just one bit of land. And peace there. And this guy... She's got non-aggressions across the board, haven't they? Really? Non-aggression. This is us. Non-aggression. And a defensive pact with someone who, quite frankly, I don't think is going to be in existence for much longer. <laughs> Up here. Right, okay. That may change things. Alright, let's not... I mean, we could just... <laughs> What would it be just to go to war? Make ultimatum. I could say... Demand... This. <laughs> They're never going to go for it. <laughs> demand that or war. But then I'll also be at war with someone who is up the top there. Uh, reputation is 36. The reputation has gone down a bit. Let's just see how they get on. Let's not jump to any conclusions here. But I have a feeling that this guy is not going to be there much longer. Yeah, that attack was successful. So they haven't even got a main city. All right. Let me build uh, another ship. Once again, it's going to be the Partridge. The reason I'm going for scientific suspendium mining, by the way, is to give ourselves... Oh, no, it's not scroll wheel. is to give ourselves the large suspendium chambers, which means we can build one of the all-time greats, the Sparrowhawk. Boarding vessel par excellence, stupidly fast, great service ceiling, loads of borders, relatively cheap for what it does. Which is why I want to build one. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder if these guys, it says the foreign agents of farm, I don't know. Fermented unrest. Why are you doing that? Unrest is 78. Wow. Okay. What if we can... Something we can do to defend against that. I'm not sure. Unrest is 78. How about... Defences. Pair that. Um, I mean, there's two bits, technically. Repair that, and scrap whatever that is. Let's get them repaired. That will hopefully increase defences. We'll repair that. We can repair the other one. That'll decrease the unrest. Unrest is only 41 there, and this is uh, 67. But because it's a gentle takeover, it's just a little bit better for us. 
problem is... Oh, dissident scholars. And he's and Catwick sending someone over there. It's a bold move. We'll see if it pays off. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. 117, repair that. What's that as well? Incense. Ooh. Which is, uh, oh God, there's still... Yeah, there's still foreign agents about. And I don't know what foreign agents... Could build a garrison, it would decrease unrest. Probably the way to go. Probably the way to go. Let's have a quick look at uh, the board. I think there's a... F there's a f Yeah, it's a little bit leaner, this board now, isn't it? There's not... <laughs> there's not as many people here. I'm seeing Morster on similar strength or weaker, which put us in a, puts us in a decent position, I think. But obviously the AI is probably not so keen on absolute attack and everything. I see that. They've managed to take out that thing there. The crashed beehive. Yeah. Now all the bees are dead and the hive contains valuable float honey and opportunity. Do I really want to try and risk this vessel against that? You know what? We can go there and we can come back. I'm going to try it. Because if nothing else, it'll say, oh no, you, you don't have the... You know, you're definitely going to lose. We can check it out and we can just flee back. There's no real downside, I guess, to that. Uh, let's repair that thing. So we've repaired the defences there. We have defences. Those have been built, which is fine. These defences, we need to repair that one. And 99 for the other one. Then we've all got the defences up and running. As we've seen, they're not that good. So <laughs> I'm only really building it to try and reduce the unrest. 96% 90, unrest. That's probably going to kick off. Let's uh, see what this is all about. Uh, it says, can't auto monster fights. I'm not confident. Shots fired from left to right are less accurate. Because they're just going to board, aren't they? I am going to flee. <laughs> I'm chickening out. I'm chickening out. Yeah, it's a defeat. That's fine. Come back. I can go back when there's more, more, more opportunities. Let's repair that. So those are now repaired. Unrest again. What we're up to now? 96 again. Although, it's gone down to 66. Disconnected from capital plus 30. Yeah, because we've not got no trade route going that way. We've got a garrison. A market would be nice. But putting the ship here will help. There we go. Having a ship station there is going to help. Lightly pillaged and the garrison. And that's pillaged. But how long will that last for? The pillaged rating. I think it was a, a little while. Uh, they are weaker. Rep is disliked. They're not making any players though, which is to be expected. Just check out alliances once again. Uh, yeah, it's only them <clears throat> up there. Foreign agents. Once again, yeah. It's only up to 46. I'm not too concerned. Got a garrison there. We have a garrison there. We can also build a port. Plus 10 income. But we don't need more ships. Also got a coal mine as well. Coal in this mine is unusual purity. Plus 100% coal storage. Excellent. Catwick's quite large. These are... Pretty much just waiting. That guy there. Technically, defensive pact for this one. I'm not too worried about if I attack. I see our ally. Hmm. So, looks like Uncton has sent a diplomatic delegation. Oh. 
bearing paintings and ex exuberant hats. I'll gain one protection they gain two if we welcome the delegation. Let's welcome the delegation. The only thing that makes me... Two things that want to attack them. They're a contender. Tends to dominate the world through conquest or alliance. That The alliance bit is like, okay, fair enough. Because we can be allied to them. But why is their rep so low? I say it's so low, it's not massively low. They are, they are disliked. Let's send a delegation. Let's just, we'll try and work with them. That's that's the game, right? That's the game we're playing at the moment. Back to diplomacy. The Sovereign is the one we're looking at, really. Craven, easily frightened and bullied, similar strength. A villain dislikes empires with high reputation. Stinex. Where they're at? Over here? Yeah, they are. A bit too far out of our way. Catwick is paranoid. Assumes everyone's out to get them. They're probably not wrong. Similar strength. Which means getting across there. The problem is, though, it's only really a sovereign that we can take over. Uh, make offer. Could do non aggression. Go on. They're not bothered about a research treaty. We have got a trade treaty going. This is a bully. Forcing weaker empires in tribute. Could make an ultimatum, but it's the, the miles away. They're not they're not gonna happen over there. Cultist. Tends to conquer the world by the worm I hates other cultists. Similar strength, and they're not miles away from us. You foiled a foreign plot to cause unrest. Good. Um, actually, can we do... What was it? No. There's all of our bonuses. Let's tell you what. Let's recall that spy and send it over here. We've got our eye on the cultists now. Mainly because they've got incense and a trade hub. But yeah, the cultists, so naturally, they're not that friendly. <laughs> hmm. Cultist. Intends to conquer the world for the worm I hate other cultists. Similar strength. They're at peace with Uncton, but also five grievances. Ah, oh, in the defensive pact with Dine as well. So if we're going to destroy the cultists, we have a bit going on. Peace with them and defensive with them. Okay. Make offer. Defensive pact. Let's work closely while we're neighbours here. This is going to start shifting probably the the power around as well because it means that the entire south <laughs> is not allied, but certainly Gonna accept an alliance, but certainly yeah, not lied, but you know, not fighting. We could make an ultimatum and say, I want an alliance, and I will go to war to get it. <laughs> so this is demanding that we do this. Reputation cost is 70. Make a demand of Lungton and threaten them with con consequences if they do not obey. This will cost you 70 reputation to enforce your threats if they defy. If you choose not to enforce threats, you will lose look weak and lose six reputation instead. 50-50 chance, pretty much, of them accepting this. Let's not be too hasty on that one. We have enough money to build another vessel, but I'm waiting until we can... <laughs> like the way they've got, like, a... Like, a boat thing from, like, ferry across there. That's really quick, that thing. That is really quick. Uh, yeah, I want to save up the money and wait for scientific suspendium mining. And that'll give us... 
hopefully enough cash by the time we get there to build the Sparrowhawk. Is it the Sparrowhawk? Build ship. Sparrowhawk, yes. After that, where do you want to go? We're not going to build a Starling because it is utter garbage. Uh, <laughs> we could build a Wasp. We've got Woodpeckers, no. The Owl is not bad. The Kite is practically useless. The Honey Bee is brilliant, but we need Suspendium Rays. And where are Suspendium Rays in this list? Uh, do we have a search function? We, we do not in here. Shame. Uh, suspendium Rays, there's Suspendium Cannon. Which requires machining as well. Spendium cannon. Spendium disruptor. Hmm. Not seen that in the game before. An experimental laboratory. Ah, this, the ex. Mm. Ooh, yeah, maybe not. Let's, uh. Let's remove some of that, shall we? Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to say, surely we can get rid of it. Yeah, there we go. So we just want to go for that. Um, also, 40% re less research needed because Uncton already has this technology. at Sawblade and also extra town and city income. So, we might do that. Alright. Let's max speed this out for a bit. Get this research done. Rep is okay. Similar strength there, but they are... Where are they going? And the gargoyles. Diplomatic offer from Uncton. Cancel research treaty. Interesting. Counter offer. Um, give them 600. No... No, I'd, I'd like that research treaty, quite frankly. Keep hold up for now. We can... Build a university. Oh, there's the research complete. Let's select some research. So, we'll research stuff that they have, so... This is articulated machinery, which is saw blade and legs. We don't need those things, but we might as well get that bonus. Um, but now, I believe, in here, build a ship, we can build a sparrow hawk. All right. The university was 100% research from clearing monster nests. Hmm, there's a monster nest there. What if we... What if we do that? Clear that monster nest. Let's, let's build a university. It'll take two months to do that. Invincible. Oh, that'll be the... Surely that's the class of ship. Yes. <laughs> um, view city. They're building that. Okay. Sabotage production. But I can't build a spy network. So I'm just shy. I'm noticing a lot of movement here. How are we doing for the university? One month, nine days. Oh, there we go. This is fully recovered from being in the war. So, no unrest, I would assume. Uh, no unrest, no unrest, a little unrest. Good. Mm. Send delegation to them again. Keep working together. They want to downgrade a defensive pact to non-aggression pact. Right. I mean... Okay. Accept, I guess. So I don't think they really want to work with us, do they? Um, okay, I'm gonna. It's gonna take one month, fourteen days to get to that crash beehive. 
An enemy spy successfully acquired technology information on scientific suspendia mining. Ugh, okay. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get there, but the the um, the um university is built. Just hoping we can get this beehive. So the thing about the beehive is there's not many bees, but I don't think you can board it. And what I anticipate happening is them, the bees boarding one of these vessels. So let's start. There's the bees. And I'm hoping that they board this thing. Because guess what? Can the bees... Are they going to shoot the bees? No, they're not going to board this. There's the, sho the shotgun on this. Board. Right, there you go. So they're boarding. Uh, ah, I can't board that again. Darn it. My, it. my goal was to board my own vessel. That would be normally you transfer a crew. Board ship, that one. Can't do it. I think we've taken the bees out. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. Victory. So, no fatalities. Survived. So, 100% um, research. We just get that. Which is brilliant. Uh, we need to select new research. Which I'll go for... Extra trade income, which is already half. There's 400 research, and then we'll head back. Oh, that was brilliant. That was successful. And there's still... There's a lot of unrest. Genuinely wondering if it is this guy. Mm. Right. I am going to probably view the city then oh look at all that because it's summer all of these trees are out God, that's got, that guy's got loads of tanks <laughs> you got so many tanks I'm going to recall the spy and I am going to send it there age of piety great religious revival sweeps the land hmm holy sites have sprung up in dragon bright Light Jar and Ketchonvacht. Minus 10% unrest in towns and cities. End the age in your favour by controlling all three holy sites. Okay. So. There's one. There's another. And there's another. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to happen. Build ship. Sparrowhawk. I'm going to build another one. We also want to probably build a market. Yeah, they're really not convent. They're really not happy about uh, me having that city there. So, we've got machining, we've got city planning, massive stone walls, cartography is just 40% fleet speed, that's really good. Torpedo damage, reduce torpedoes minimum range, mm. wasp killer marines, torpedo bombers, I think we go for spy defense. Surveillance state. Plus 25% spy defense. We have to go through security services first, which is a police station and a spy agency, but I think we need it. There's so many spy actions that we've seen. Let's view their city. Oh, they've started to tech up a bit. They've got some more ships now. I'm not overly concerned. Oh, they're, they're actually at war as well with this guy. Interesting. I wonder who declared war on who, though. Oh, this guy's at war with almost everybody. Um, where's his where's his forces actually? Question: Where are their forces? I'm not seeing any. Is there an opportunity here? 
there is definitely an opportunity here. Um, we could send the partridges over. They are pretty much useless at well, that job, though. I think we're going to send two Sparrowhawks over. Uh, Uncton has sent a diplomatic delegation uh, bearing turtle dove eggs and candied geckos. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Have some of those. Sound delish. Right, let's go. Ah, we need more supply. Oh, and they do have forces. And I think everybody's attacking this guy. Which is to be expected, to be honest. Can I even get over there? I probably can. Yes, but I can't get back. I need 210. Supply. Filed a plot. Good. So I don't want to send that. Insufficient supplies to return. And still foiling a plot. Oh, diplomatic offer from a sovereign. It says, non-aggression pact, you receive tribute, 10% of their income, cancel trade treaty, you receive submission. Why are they... Wanting that? Ah, because they're getting attacked left, right, and center. Um, I mean, we are. Yeah. Accept. And losing them six. All right. Can I defeat that? I have no idea. And... Oh, let's go. I will be declaring war against all of these guys, though. Oh, that's risky. If I declare war, I'm going to go to war against this guy and this guy. I'm going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit <laughs> of airships. I'm not too sure what to do. The Sovereign's getting battered. I'm going to try and help them out. But we see that Toppington they take, they've, they've got a huge amount of space, but they're, they're at war with everybody and if we don't slow them down now, they're just going to assault everybody. Right. I think we are going to go to war, but we're going to leave it there for now. I'll have a think about that one. Next episode, we have we have a decent fleet. We've got a couple of partridges, which are... They are aerial torpedoes. Sorry, aerial charges and boarding. We've got two sparrowhawks, which are solely boarding. And we've got the very slow bumblebee, which will follow up. And, well, let's see what we can do. I'm just hoping that someone like Uncton will help us out. Still non-aggression with a research treaty and such. Let's see how it goes. Either way, next episode, probably war and lots of it. But we've seen a lot of new stuff. We've got this new site on the go. Uh, this new, yeah, the holy sites, so the new era, Age of Piety. We've obviously got a lot of this stuff taken over. I'm going to build a market. And another market there. Just to increase our funds. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of back and forward is going on. Resolve the age of piety in your favour. Show me how. Take control of three holy sites. Fair enough. Yeah. Next episode. Probably war. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Airships and what it is the series thus far. As always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Well, this could go bad. <laughs>